Hey, it's Zan from the other side vintage. I am going to attempt to paint this behind me. It's got wavy glass, so I can't take the glass out. So I'm gonna hand paint each little panel and this is the base of it. I will post a picture later of the actual whole thing together. But I just wanted to get a video started of what I'm about to attempt to do, which is to put Dixie Belle mermaid tail Dixie Belle mermaid tail mermaid tail chalk paint chalk mineral paint and mermaid tail this is a 16 ounce jar I'm not going to use it all maybe guessing maybe half maybe 8 ounces alright wish me luck alright let's see if I can do this I'm just going to take a little bit okay I got these brushes I dipped them in the water first, just a little bit, just a tiny bit, and then I'm actually just using the paint on the lid. And as you'll see, I am having to do this really intense beveled edge with just this tiny, tiny brush. And I plan on doing that in all the little corners all the way across. It's going to take a little bit of time, but as you can see, it's beveled really pretty. So, I'm just going to take it one little bit at a time with this tiny brush to get it in all the little crooks and nooks and crannies, I think they say. Not crooks. <laughs> and then, because it's chalk paint, it'll easily come off the glass, but since I already saw that little bit, I'm just going to go ahead and take it off. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to hold the camera while also painting um, it is probably 95% humidity today in Tallahassee in Florida but still gonna paint even though they say not to you can with chalk paint you can't with other paints so that's why I'm so grateful for Dixie Bell because I can do things with this paint that I can't with others and when you're down due to weather and you can't paint and you do this for a living it takes a big chunk out of your out of your living so uh any day that i can paint which hopefully is almost every day is a good day it's a fun day and again i really don't have to do this right now because chalk paint is so easy to get off of glass but since i'm right here Sorry, I'm gonna try to go ahead and get this off. This is hard to see, but this is wavy glass, which is um, really neat to work with. So, all right, I am going to continue to do this and then I will hopefully update this later when I am a little bit further along. So you don't have to sit here and hear me just literally talk about the weather. All right. So we'll see how far along I can get in like half an hour. Hi, I'm working on this um, China Hutch base with Dixie Bell mermaid tail. And I was going to spray paint it, but I decided I missed my painting by hand. Sorry, I'm blocking it. So bear with me as I'm just going to uh, go ahead and do what I love to do and let's just go with it. Spray painting would have taken much, much less time, but something about this piece, I want, I want brush strokes. So I am going to, as you see, just use this brush I have. I do believe this brush <clears throat> is from Waverly. I've had it for a while, so I'm just using, I just literally grabbed whatever was closest and started applying paint right to it. This piece is a little bit, um, a little bit shiny, so I probably, sorry as I, bear with me here, so I probably should have sanded it, um, I decided not to, I know. It's back. They tell you to do it. Prep does make a huge difference, and you're going to regret it later, but 
sometimes to get it done, I just gotta go ahead and get started. It's getting late in the day. Got up early and uh, hit some charity sales, some church sales, and I got this at a local church that has a sale once or twice a year, and I love going there. Um, church ladies and gentlemen, but these were all ladies today, can be very humorous and very uh, fun and entertaining with their details of where things came from and what used to be done with them, stuff like that. So I always learn something new when I go. I'm sorry, you guys. I know this is... <laughs> I mean, I could go, hi, it's me. <laughs> See Anne from the other side, vintage, and you see this piece. And I've already started on it, and then I realized I might want to show you guys because I earlier said I was going to spray paint it, and I was working on the top of it. The top of it is over here behind me, and I was doing hand painting the um, trim that the sprayer would have a hard time getting underneath. And I was preparing it, and then I just sat here and looked at this piece and said, you know what? I just want to start painting this thing, so I am painting it by hand. Move out of the way here a little bit. So, excuse it as my camera tries to zoom in, and please don't comment that it's wood and should have been left alone. It had a lot of damage to it as far as scratches and whatnot, and it was just crying out to be rescued in a pretty mermaid tail color instead of just basic brown, which it had been all its life. So, I'm telling you, it's much happier. I can already tell the happiness. Can you see the happiness? This color is really a happy color. <laughs> I talk about happiness a lot. When it comes to furniture, when you walk in a room and a piece of furniture is just like, oh, yes, 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 and it makes you happy, it is so worth it. Everything in your house should make you happy. Maybe not the piles of clothes that need to be washed or the dishes in the sink that need to be washed or things like that. But when you have a piece of furniture like this to counter set that, it helps. It helps to have a, have a piece of furniture that makes you happy. So life's short. Um, paint it. <laughs> I wouldn't paint anything that was perfectly fine and really good shape and perfect wood, but this is a mixture of real wood and uh, veneer and and such, and so it's not like it's a true 100% wood antique. Um, I would call this more vintage, um, probably either from the 40s or up does have a name in it and I looked it up and it was a little bit older than I thought it was but it um because originally I thought it could even be from like the 60s or 70s which it's not and again I am just using Dixie Belle paint and mermaid tail this is the 16 ounce and you can see I don't know if you can see I've hardly even used any I don't want to pour it out, sorry. And yes, I am just sitting on the ground painting. In my, uh, one of the pairs of paint shorts that I have, I am going to tip this back and just get this little bit at the bottom here. I mean, I could have put it up on, uh, not bricks, but, you know, whatever. You could use bricks, actually, but whatever's good for you. See this bottom trim now? Okay, that's what I'm working on. So I am just, uh, there's even a little piece of dust left over. That's okay. Don't freak. If you're worried about things being perfect, this project that I've chosen today is not that thing. This project is a let's see what happens and get her done and make her happy. All right. So this is the first coat. Um, it definitely is going to need a second coat. It is almost dry already. I just started. Oh yeah, here. I flipped this up, and you see, I'm going to go back over and just 
while the brush is still a little bit got paint on it. And here's the other one. This one I must have already done. And just touch those up. Sometimes I don't paint the hardware, but this one, the hardware was kind of funny, duddy, gross. Remind me of a, a lady who wasn't happy. And um, I wanted to be happy. God, look how red I am. Sorry. <laughs> it's really hot outside today. And I've got my hair pulled back and my painting clothes on. All right, so I am. Let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna show you the top. Can you see? That's the first coat. And then the sides haven't been done yet on either side. So I'm going to go ahead and work on those. And then I will uh, work on the hutch, the top. And then hopefully have it done by tonight. And then tomorrow morning, early, I will clear coat it. I could do it tonight if there was enough daylight, but I'm going to wait and let it cure a little bit longer. I mean, it could cure in 20 minutes normally. You can go right at it, but I'm going to give it some time to rest. And then I'm going to polyacrylic, sorry, clear coat. Hey, I always just say polyacrylic. I'm going to clear coat it, and I think I'm going to use a satin this time. I usually use a flat, um, Dixie Ball flat. They have flat, they have satin, and they have um, glossy. So I am going to go with the satin with this because I want it just to have just a tiny, tiny bit of sheen, but not glossy, glossy. So, all right, we'll hope and see what happens and I'll post pictures later.